Operating with 10 children ages 24 to 2, Danny and Trish Van Meter's fifth generation Clarkson, Kentucky farm really puts the family in Family Farm. They raise tomatoes, pumpkins, watermelons, corn, squash, and a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. This beautiful Kentucky farm is the same land Danny's grandfather farmed, and as if the family farm operation didn't keep him busy enough, Danny takes time away from the farm to help start Christian schools in the area. We worked to start a Christian school in Morgantown, Kentucky. We felt that was very important for them to have a Christian education, just part of who we are. In 2005, when we first started, uh, we started with 1,100 strawberry plants, and I saw the plastic culture on a, a little trip down around Glasgow, Kentucky, and saw that it wouldn't have to pull weeds with strawberries. I always loved strawberries. So we got them involved, uh, basically, to teach them how to work. Josh Van Meter explains how his upbringing in faith affects what he does on and off the farm. And the Word of God says, whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord. Whatever you're going to do, you do it all for the glory of God. So it, whether I'm working out here or working out there, I just do it as I'm doing it for God. There's still people around who want to do an honest day's work, who uh, want to share good values, who want to do things right, who want to live right, and who want to treat people the best that they can. Daughter Leah says she hopes what people see is the value of faith and family when they visit the farm. It's not always about what we do, but it's more family and it's God-centered. Um, people coming out here, I hope they can just enjoy, you know, what's out here. You know, seeing everything, enjoying the beauty of God's creation. Being self-reliant is a hallmark of most family farms, and the Van Meters are no exception. All the way back to the very beginnings, this Southern Kentucky farm did whatever it took to make their operation a success. Danny Van Meter tells us how. No one gave me any instructions, so we had, I think, eight short rows right out in front of the house, about 125 foot long, and it took us two days to pull those because if the plastic was crooked, they'd have to pull it up. Uh, if it wasn't just right, it had to be right. So we worked them pretty hard from the start, and then from that point, they had to actually set the strawberries by hand. We had them punching the holes with PVC pipes. Uh, now we've, we've graduated to a water wheel planter, but in those early days, you punched the hose, we had a, a pipe with a funnel, they poured the water, they took the strawberry plug, they put it in, and they did all of this, and uh, it was a great tool for them. Whether raising fresh produce or a farmhouse full of children, Danny and Trish let their faith shine into and through it all. Tim Blaine, RFD-TV.